hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to look at a very important aspect of any framework or any package which is file upload so without a file upload very few apps will be complete and hence it is important to understand what livewire gives us when it comes to file upload and specifically image upload okay so we have this customer form which we had created earlier with all these validations in place correct so what i did was i added this profile picture field let's look at that first of all on the blade side we have you know this file field which is form.picture and again it is wire model to form.picture error message is defined accordingly and now when we upload a file through Livewire, we need to understand what happens. So Livewire doesn't just allow you to upload files. Whenever a file is uploaded, first a call is made to the server and a signed URL is created. This is the URL which can be used to upload a file. So what happens is when we upload a file, it cannot go to the API just like that without any verification or anything, right? Then the file is uploaded and in return, a temporary URL is given which we can access to preview the file. So let's see how that happens. I have this form. I click on choose file. I hit open. And can you see a few API calls were made? So first was an update. Was it part of this? Let me refresh that, clear everything out and try once more. So I do this, first an update, some um, effects, but snapshot, okay, it's a snapshot thing. What was the payload? Let's look at it. So method start upload. Something got executed. Now, in return, you know, once that was done, upload file expires and a signature. So this is what I was talking about. Let's see if we can find that. I mean, uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to, but somewhere that thing should be present. Uh, dispatches returns null. Dispatches name generated signed URL. Params. Right. So this is the expires and the signature, right? So we got this. Let's see. A, uh, D. 83e with that d83e correct so with those information the second call is made where this binary data is getting uploaded right and now in response we get a url a temporary url where the file is stored so let's see if we can find that in our folder there are two um can i somehow so this starts with kmcm o0 pr kmcm o0 pr right so as you can see this is the picture and this got uploaded and the entire flow as I said was that first it makes an API call. I mean, it makes a call to the server. It gets a signature. With that signature, the file is uploaded. And with that uploaded file, we get the temporary URL in place. And then some updates are happening because these are, you know, the component is updating, right? So it just shows the same. Now, and obviously this means, you know, this, this particular API, it is important to understand why this is done. So this URL, which is livewire slash upload file, is a URL where files are getting uploaded. 
so if we don't have proper security in place anyone can start to upload files on this url right and that to prevent that you know, the security measures are taken in this particular way i like this in a way of doing things because it helps us make the entire cycle quite secure now with that if you, if you see i have the an image in place obviously don't look at the ui because i haven't given any intrinsic or extrinsic image height width so it will expand to its full width but yeah uh, once the image is uploaded right we we get that picture object we can run a method on top of it which is temporary url and that gives us the url which i am using inside the image source and that is how we are able to get the just uploaded image now obviously if we want to store this somewhere um if i go over here i should be able to save the image in this place so we need to look at the save method to kind of store our file we already have this picture property inside the form class right so if we go to the save thing i have a condition over here that if i find this dot picture then because it is a file object we can run any of the storage class functions which laravel provides so for example i have the ability to store the photo inside the photos folder so i can literally run this and what will happen is i'll just open this up okay, let's look at the storage folder the live wire temp folder is clean there are no files the photos folder is clean no files over there as well and now if i refresh let me fill up the form and if i select file use this screenshot first thing as we had seen the temp file is uploaded now if i hit the save button what will happen is i get a file over here as well so let's see sorry not over here yeah so this is the file and we are able to basically then upload from this temporary folder to a place where we can use that to show to the end user without any problem i can even do something like public slash photos which basically would mean that you know it will upload over here so let's just try that as well i have the form object still ready with me so if i hit save can you see the image got uploaded over here as well so yeah this is how you now we can upload a single image i have stopped the create function over here right now but you know there's no problem if you keep that because i just wanted to not populate my database with unnecessary stuff and yeah if once you get this right you can save the url in the user's profile column and you can do stuff now if you want to upload multiple images through your form a few small changes that needs to be done is first of all let's just say we make it an array okay and it should ideally be pictures but i don't right now want to refactor the entire thing so we'll keep it like picture and over here what i will do is i have a check whether it is set or not and then maybe you can also do a count thing and then we do a for each we loop through each picture and then we get the temporary url and over here in the save method what i will do is if it is set then again i'll do a 
porridge. Uh, what was the folder name was public so I'll just get rid of it put it here right and so what we are doing is if the it's a we can even do if count this greater than zero right something like that now if we have pictures in here then we are looping through each file and we are running the store function on that file. So open up our folder over here, open up the form and let me fill it up. Now I'll select two files. So the first and the second hit open. And this is my first file. This is the second file. Okay. It is giving me some validation error because it says it needs to be an image which actually needs to change to something like this because I have picture right so picture dot star because there, there are multiple right so the rule needs to change I hadn't done that let me try once more fill the form first says no picture found let me see um, shouldn't do that okay Right. I don't know what is happening because for some reason this validation is not working and hence for now we will just skip that and try to get the basic functionality in place. I will try to see what the error is. Is there some problem in my code or in the, um, you know, the library itself? It's not picking something. I'll have to check that. Um, but yeah, let me fill up the form. I choose two files. Okay. And then, because there's no validation right now, if I go and save, I will see files over here. Okay, these are the temp files, doesn't matter to us. I'll delete them. And maybe we'll delete these two as well. And if I hit save once more, okay, I need to upload them again this time first I will clear everything okay they are clear so choose two images hit save and now I can see there are two images over here as well somehow this files are not getting cleared uh, maybe we can run a, a cron or something like that so that they can be cleared but yeah well, what I can understand is even after storing the file, right, the temp file is not getting deleted because there is a configuration. Um, just let me show you live wire, something called temporary file upload, right? Yes. So there is this temporary file upload disks and all those things. And how much time before it will be invalidated? So we have a lot of stuff over here, but it doesn't allow us to configure you know, an auto delete. So we'll, we will need to handle that uh, on our own. It won't be happening automatically. That is something which you need to be aware of. So yeah, that's about it, guys. That's what I wanted to cover in this video where we are able to upload images or for that matter, even any file using the same process, whether it is a single file or multiple files. The only thing which is pending is the validation. I need to check that if I get that properly, then I will create maybe a short uh, 60 second video where I'm showing you that. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.